Hey, what's up YouTube? We're gonna do some serine synthesis today. Here's serine, of course, and we're gonna synthesize it from 3-phosphoglycerate. The differences between 3-phosphoglycerate and serine would be the phosphate group here, which is going to be dephosphorylated. Secondly, you gotta have an amine and uh, group here. So we're gonna use a pyridoxal phosphate to um, cause the amination here, and then we're just going to do a simple dephosphorylation with an attack of water for this uh, phosphate here. And I'm going to show that in the terms of um, air pushing in this video. So the the amination is done with this here, um, pyridoxal phosphate, okay? So this is showing the enzyme-linked form of it, but what's actually going to transport and uh, trans, um, transduce the uh, amine on is this here form, which is pyridoxamine. Um, th this amine came from a glutamate, and the resulting um, form from a deaminated glutamate is an alpha ketoglutarate. And I'm going to show this all in arrow pushing just to make it clear. And once you've got the pyridoxamine, you're going to uh, transport it, port it onto a 3 phosphohydroxypyruvate to get the phosphoserine, which as, as I said, we're gonna dephosphorylate. Um, so what about this here? Um, so typically, um, pyridoxamine deals with uh, keto acid forms and 3-phosphoglycerate, uh, as you can see, is not uh, the keto acid that we want. So the first thing you gotta do is you gotta oxidize here. That results in an NADH, okay? And that's, that's why you start from here. For, for pyridoxamine. Okay, then, yeah, lastly, we're just gonna do that um, from fossil serine to serine with the water attack. Okay, here we go. So, here's the glutamate, which is gonna be donating this, this here amine, and here's the uh, PLP in the enzyme-linked form. So what happens is these free electrons come in and attack this double bond, electrons roll up, and you have this, which I've shown in a sh kind of shortened notation. You know that this is the rest of the PLP, the enzyme, and the um, glutamate. Okay, so then we have the base come in, frees up these oxygen, these electrons, and fully displaces the enzyme, and that that creates the double bond here. All right, so here's the double bond we formed, and so generally, uh, let's think where we're trying to go. What we're trying to do is we're trying to fully um, remove this uh, nitrogen group. So at this point, without this attack, there's it's not very vulnerable to um, a water attack, which is how, remember, we wanted to get through the alpha ketoglutarate. So um, we make it more vulnerable by deprotonating here and forming this amine, imine here. So the electrons roll down into the sink as promised. Okay, then they come back up and they are stored here with the protonation. This carbon yeah, gains the proton, right? And then as I said, there's the water attack. That's gonna come in, cause the electrons to come onto nitrogen then the water establishes itself even further as a carbonyl. So we have um, deprotonation here, electrons down, and the amine is now independently um, removed from the glutamate to form alpha ketoglutarate with this, and then the, the um, pyridoxamine with what is down here. Okay, so overall what do we do? Well, we formed an alpha ketoglutarate. The, the water came in and became this carbonyl group, the oxygen. And then we got this, this here, pyridoxamine, because of that protonation there. These electrons are now isolated from the, the electron sink. Okay, so now this is ready to attack on some sort of pre serine adduct. So remember, as I said, the, PO, the um, pyridoxamine likes to deal with the keto acid forms, so first things 
First, we uh, form that keto acid by um, displacing these electrons onto NAD+, plus, forming NADH. Now the pyridoxamine comes in with those nice electrons, pushes in, this comes out and is protonated. Okay. At which point we form the amine with this base attack on one of the, hydro the hydrogens, and this leaves us water. All right, so the nitrogen's almost entirely integrated in. What we gotta do now is just get off that PLP. So we do that by reintroducing the electron sink right now. Uh, these electrons are isolated from the sink. So what we gotta do is we gotta reform this double bond here. So the base comes in, deprotonates, they come down. Now that the sink is connected, the electrons come out. And there's a protonation here. So you gotta think about where you're trying to get. You're trying to get uh, this here attached fully by only one bond. So from here you gotta be, be thinking to yourself, all right, I got to, I got to do a protonation here. So yeah, I got to introduce the sink again, and then I got to protonate. So it should just come sort of natural. And then we're back to this this sort of form, and this is the form that we kind of started with, except there was a um, lysine residue attached here, right? So the, it was PLP with a lysine here, and that was the lysine of the enzyme. So um, we're going to um, get the phosphoserine off the same way we got the the nitrogen on. So the lysine residue comes in as before. I'm going to find that paper so we can look at that one more time. So yeah, let's just um, let's just pretend that this here is um, the phosphoserine, and this would be the lysine residue. It comes in, attacks, right, comes in and attacks here, and then as before, the base comes in and it's fully, you know, removed. Yeah. And that results in, of course, phosphoserine. So yeah, enzyme lysine attack. Okay. That's from phosphoserine, it's simple. All we gotta do is bring the water, attack here, direct displacement, the PI comes off, and we've arrived at serine. That's it. Uh, thanks for watching.